Good morning. I'm the Reverend Stephanie Fox, Rector of St. George Episcopal Church in New Orleans. I'm delighted to welcome you today. I'm glad you can tune in online. And if you are ever in the area, please join us at 1030 on Sunday mornings. We would love to make you feel right at home. I will begin with our collect for the day. Let us pray. Let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church. And because it cannot continue in safety without your help, protect and govern it always by your goodness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. When I was a little girl, I had a doll collection. It was my pride and joy. Every time my dad would go on a work trip, he would bring back a new doll for my collection. Now these were not ordinary dolls, they were special dolls, beautiful dolls. They were valuable dolls. And they belonged on a shelf, a display shelf. They were for looking, they were not for touching or playing with. And over time, we had more than one shelf and another shelf to hold this beautiful collection. But they were for looking and not for touching and playing with. My everyday dolls, my Barbies and stuffed animals, I played with all the time. They were worn out, their hair was a mess, and they got dirty. But I loved them and I used them. We had a relationship and they blessed me. I learned how to work out my thoughts and creativity through them. I could play with them by myself for hours, or I could invite friends over to play dolls together. And we could even have a party. We could have a tea party with our stuffed animals, or we could have a big party with our Malibu beach set and Barbie's Winnebago. And then it was a big, fun party. The adventures were as endless as our imagination. I was raised in a military family, and every time we moved, the dolls were carefully picked up and moved with me over and over again. The older I got, the less valuable my collection of dolls became to me personally. They were supposed to be special, but they were just for display, just for show and admiration. They were not used. To the world, they were valuable and admirable, but they weren't very valuable to me. Over time, they became worth less and less to me. And when I did finally sell them as a young adult, I only fetched a little bit of money. The most valuable one and the most beautiful doll I've ever seen was an 18-inch high china doll in a large glass cabinet. The glass cabinet had a little door and you could open the door and you could take her out. She was the most beautiful china doll I had ever seen with bright multicolored and layered silk kimono. It was green and yellow and red, but I never once played with her. She was not movable. Her feet were literally attached to the platform and she really wasn't usable. She was tucked away safely behind her glass. But this also meant that she did not get out at all. She didn't see the world or have the adventures that my other dolls had. And although I remember her fondly, I also remember her with a little bit of sadness. Toys are designed to be played with, to be used. Our possessions are designed to be used. Sometimes they are used for practical matters like paying the mortgage or the utility bill and buying groceries. And our vehicles are possessions that take us to work and take our kids to school. And they can take us to the grocery store or the hospital. And yes, sometimes they can take us on a vacation for something fun and memorable. But possessions for possession's sake can be a trap. As someone who just moved across the country, I know very clearly that I have way too much stuff. And too much stuff can weigh you down. Our possessions, our things, can become heavy and distract us from the things that really matter. My dear friend Carolyn came to visit me this week. She is a wonderful linear thinker and planner. And she asked me if I had an evacuation kit. 
I've never lived in a storm's path, and so I really didn't know much about it. I had started working on it, but it was not complete. I'm familiar with the concept of an evacuation kit, an evacuation, but I've never been ordered to evacuate in my life. But I do understand that you put all the most important things in a place, in a box or a Rubbermaid container so that in the event of evacuation or storm or emergency, you have what is most essential, what, what is most important. You have important papers and money, credit cards, identifications, medication lists, phone chargers, food, water, and hopefully a place to stay. But if the couple of years of COVID and the storms through the years have taught us anything, it is that the most important things in life are not things at all. We carry with us what we love and treasure and value the most. We bring our family, our friends, and our pets with us. We cannot take a bigger barn with us in a storm, and we can't take it when we die. So today, I am curious, what do you treasure? Who do you treasure? Today is a gift. It is all that we have. So I ask you, what will you do with this one wild and precious life? Will you hold on tight to all that you possess so that it really possesses you? Will you lock away your time, talent, and treasure? building bigger barns and walls between yourself and the world? Or will you open your hands and your heart? Will you give your life and love away and be open to receiving the gifts and miracles that life has for you? Will you choose love? Will you choose to laugh, to give generously? Will you choose to sing songs of gratitude and praise for all the gifts you have been given? Will you choose to dance? or sit behind on the edge of the dance floor? Will you choose to be rich toward God and toward others? Amen. May God give you the grace not to sell yourself short, grace to risk something big for something good, grace to remember that the world is now too big for anything but truth and too small for anything but love. So may God take your lips and speak through them. May God take your minds and think through them. And may God take your hearts and set them on fire. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, and God bless you.